Goa Chief Minister Manohar Parikar breathed his last at his residence near Panaji on Sunday. Parikar took charge as the Goa Chief Minister on March 14, 2017 and held the office till his death on March 17, 2019. He had previously served as the Chief Minister of the state from 2000 to 2002, 2002 to 2005 and from 2012 to 2014. He also had a three-year-long stint as Defence Minister in the Narendra Modi-led cabinet. His nearly three-year tenure as the Defence Minister was eventful. Manohar Parikar carried a signature look. Plain bush shirts, trousers and sandals were Parikar's favourite attire. He even maintained his trademark half-sleeved shirt and creased trousers on his son's wedding while guests were dressed in lavish wedding garments. Here are some lesser-known facts about the CM of Commons. Goa Chief Minister Manohar Parikar was born into a middle-class family on December 13, 1955 as Manohar Gopal Krishna Prabhu Parikar in Goa's Mapusa. He studied at Loyola High School. Manohar Parikar's political career began as an RSS Pracharak. He joined RSS during his school days. Even after completing his engineering from IIT Bombay, Parikar continued working for the Sangh. Parikar entered electoral politics in 1994 after winning a BJP ticket from Panaji constituency. Manohar Parikar was the country's first Indian Institute of Technology alumnus to serve as the Chief Minister of a state. He became Chief Minister of Goa for the first time on October 24, 2000, but his tenure lasted only until February 27, 2002. Parikar served the state four times as Chief Minister. Parikar was also the first BJP Chief Minister who had publicly said in 2013 that Narendra Modi, the then Gujarat Chief Minister, should be the face of the party in 2014 Lok Sabha polls. Parikar had launched a campaign against illegal mining in the state, which later emerged as the rallying point for anti-Congress sentiments. He was branded as Goa's Mr. Clean. Manohar Parikar was inducted into the Narendra Modi cabinet as the defense minister, under whose tenure India conducted the surgical strikes in September 2016 after a terror attack claimed lives of 19 soldiers in Uri in Jammu and Kashmir. Parikar also ensured that the long-pending light compact aircraft Tejas is inducted in the Indian Air Force's fleet, besides taking steps to ease the process of indigenization of the defence sector. During his tenure, the controversial Rafale deal was also signed. Manohar Parikar had not taken government benefits he would live in his own house, which is quite a modest one. He would use the Innova car which he was allotted as leader of the opposition, instead of a fancier SUV. He would also travel in economy class. In fact, he was quite famous for travelling in rickshaws and other public transport like a common man when outside Goa. The Bharatiya Janata Party leader, a few months after he took oath as Goa Chief Minister for the first time in 2000, lost his wife Medha to cancer in 2001. Manohar Parikar is survived by two sons, Utpal and Abhijat Parikar. A three-time Chief Minister of Goa, Manohar Parikar had been in and out of hospitals since February last year. It was in October that the state government made a formal announcement about the BJP leader suffering from a pancreatic ailment. He had undergone treatment in the United States as well as Delhi. He served as the chief minister of Goa till his last breath. 